the Nobel Prize, one of the highest honors in the world, awarded to those who make the greatest contributions to humanity. But did you know that in 1935, this prestigious award became the center of a quiet controversy? A controversy involving the daughter of the legendary Marie Curie. Today, we uncover the untold story of how the Nobel Prize was allegedly stolen by Irene Joliot Curie, and the woman whose groundbreaking work may have been overshadowed, Stefania Marisanianu. Let's dive into this fascinating chapter in the history of science. To understand this story, we need to start by introducing the two remarkable women at the heart of this controversy, Irene Joliot Curie and Stefania Marisanianu. Both were trailblazing scientists who made significant contributions to the field of radioactivity in the 1920s, but their paths and their legacies took very different turns. Irin Joliot Curie, born in 1897, was immersed in science from a young age. As the daughter of the renowned Marie Curie, Irin's life was steeped in scientific discovery. By the age of 18, she was already serving as a nurse radiographer during World War I, and later honed her skills in radiochemistry at the Radium Institute. By 1925, she had earned her doctorate, researching the alpha rays of polonium, a project that would lay the foundation for her future breakthroughs. On the other side of the story is Stefania Marisanianu, a pioneering scientist who also worked closely with Marie Curie at the Radium Institute in Paris. In her groundbreaking 1924 PhD thesis, Stefania documented her findings on induced radioactivity, a discovery that would later become a crucial element in the study of radioactive elements. Induced radioactivity was a concept that opened up new possibilities in the understanding of atomic physics. Stefania's work was not only pioneering but laid the groundwork for future discoveries in the field of radioactivity. However, despite her groundbreaking research, Stefania's contributions were largely overshadowed by those who would come after her. In the early 1930s, Irene Joliot Curie, along with her husband Frederick, made a series of groundbreaking discoveries that would change the world of science. They created new radioactive elements by bombarding stable elements with alpha particles, proving the possibility of elemental transmutation, a concept that would revolutionize nuclear physics. The Joliot Curie's pioneering techniques for producing radioactive isotopes had a profound impact on medicine and industry, and in 1935, they were awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for their achievements. It was a moment of great celebration for the scientific community, but not everyone was happy. Stefania Marisanianu felt that her earlier findings on induced radioactivity were used without proper credit in the Joel Yacht Curie's work. She believed that her 1924 PhD thesis had laid the groundwork for the discoveries that earned the Joel Yacht Curies their Nobel Prize. While some scientists sympathized with Marisanianu's plight, recognizing the possible injustice, very few took concrete action to publicly support her claims. This situation reflects the systemic barriers that women in science often faced during the early 20th century. Barriers that allowed significant contributions to be overlooked or overshadowed. Despite the controversy, Irene Joliot Curie continued her scientific work and became a prominent figure in the field of nuclear physics. She played a key role in establishing nuclear physics in France and contributed significantly to France's atomic energy program in the late 1930s and 1940s. Beyond her scientific achievements, Irene Joliot Curie was also a strong advocate for women in science. She served as director of the Radium Institute, a professor at the Faculty of Science in Paris, and inspired countless women to pursue careers in science. She continued her work until her untimely death in 1956 at the age of 58. While the Nobel Prize controversy remains a footnote in history, it highlights the complex dynamics of recognition and credit in the scientific community, especially for women during the early 20th century. Irene Joliot Curie's contributions to science are undeniable, yet the questions surrounding Stefania Marisanianu's role in laying the groundwork for these discoveries still linger. Ultimately, both Irene Joliot Curie and Stefania Marisanianu were pioneers in their own right. Their stories remind us of the importance of giving credit where it's due and recognizing the contributions of all who advance our understanding of the world. The story of the 1935 Nobel Prize controversy is more than just a tale of scientific discovery. It's a story about recognition, justice, and the challenges women have faced in the pursuit of knowledge. What are your thoughts on this controversy? Do you think Marisanianu's contributions were unfairly overshadowed? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, please like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the untold stories of history. And remember, every discovery has a story. Let's make sure all voices are heard.